the evening day. They don't care about poor people in Jamaica. They don't care. And I tell the people, them Uno people up in Anabrook, Cherry Gardens, anyone who want there with an uptown cell, Uno no safe. Uno need to join with the poor people, them make the government understand that, say, through no own sake, poor people are all right in Jamaica too. And if not, nothing will get better. Uno will get robbed. Oh, now I'm going to get stick up, extortion, I'm going to get worse. Then I'm going to pickpocket more. But I'm going to get grab more. Not what them are doing to help the country right now. Right? See, they are right. So today, I last day, Dream Weekend. As we said, nobody is surprised that bro got come and say, after Dream Weekend, no event. We already knew. Like, they're so predictable in their corruption. You can read them like a book. But the problem is because, as we foot has said, only few people have the level of intelligence and understanding of our situation. He knows that a lot of people will not see through what he's doing. People saw it as a good thing for him to give a young, healthy, strong woman 150,000 figure up in bar. People in Jamaica saw that as a noble deed. When it is really disgraceful, if you think about it, that young woman did not need the assistance that she got. We have people who are on their dying beds who could use 150000 to add up to what their family has been saving for their surgery. Surgery for which there's a long waiting list. And some of them may not live to get that surgery, Mr. Prime Minister. There are children in Jamaica with birth defects from the nasty food, the cigarettes which are legal, and ganja still illegal, the rum, where stressed out pregnant women are drinking, are giving their babies birth defects, and the babies get no help, and some of them don't live. That $150,000 could have buy a diaper, feeding, fix some of the roof, Prime Minister, you're low. You go around this stuff. Me not care is which woman she, she never forget no 150,000 to go up in no bar. And guess what? Three weekends should have get no permit, you know, 3,500 people neither. Me sit down and watch them how much weeks now, you know. Come in with the dream and come up and me a wait for the capacity and all of that. I'm going to watch them, I'm going to watch them. I'm going to talk everything before the industry open already. And I want to point out something for people for me to know, say, them don't like me. But them not like me, I mean, I like them. In a matter, I never vote yet. You know, say, when this whole argument are going about to open up at the place, me I want my biggest vice. And then keep watching me, and they invite dream people. They invite the whole up town select them. They invite Neil Friend of Mobby. They invite all who they feel like invite. But then I invite me. Yeah, for some of my suggestions, they're misty. Them take up and some of them they never use and if they did use them it would make more sense. But we tell you no them again. And okay, go back and watch my previous live them. One, I suggested that masks were nonsensical for events. As you can see for Dream Weekend, nobody never wanna know their mask. So that that protocol was breached and none of the police them were hired for their dream never stopped the event. Okay. I suggested from June, I think, or July, that they must find ways to put persons in groups, let them arrive at the event in groups and be together in the event around their own table or their own section. In the UK, they use borders to section off the venue, all around the venue, and so on and so forth. Nobody now got no party, got any no mask, got in one, drink their room, and enjoy themselves and socialize, right? That I want, so that I the mask issue. Two, I spoke about categorizing events into small, medium, and large. They skipped out medium totally, that it's small, and the only large was dream, and then the place locked down. So who else get permit to keep um large event where we know about? Oh, one well, next event they keep the other day. I love soccer. We said them bias, them bias, we don't know the bias with soccer and dance hall already. We don't know that. So then give I love soccer them permit. I know they come with dream weekend. Who else? Who else? We don't know get no permit to keep no big party. Sons never keep a Jamaica. No friends, sons keep. Uh, you no know, matter what the hell, which one? At the end of the day, how you say you curb COVID and I give permit for 3,500 people in a one place. Sans the keep, 
I don't even do that key trap. I don't go to see foreign one them. So my distance stands the key. Eh? Yeah, give us permit. In the same time, where your quarrel say, you know when COVID go up because um school fit up in September. But yet you get dream permit for three thousand five hundred. Now me I get at me need one fan out get up on the balcony. Yeah. Hmm? Eat it right now. This is a permit give out from July to dream with 3,500 people in a venue. And yet they tell poor people, say, if you run Robin, birthday party, and you cannot think annual event, so we always keep 100 people, including you, the promoter, and your staff. Then where you have to keep nothing for? Where you have to keep nothing for? And they talk about how much illegal party keep on Ray and Tay and Tay. Ah, like one of a dream illegal, if you ask me. We need to find a fan. Hold on there. Yeah, me did a picture now, it's fun. Eh? Tell me if everything will happen down there, not illegal, no mask, no social distancing, me not no sanitizing. Oh, let me just finish. The third thing. The third thing, which was actually a suggestion by, I think, Olivia Grange, and I, I second it, I agreed with it, was that they would have COVID marshals in the venue. Long as I hear them say that, I don't hear nothing more about it again. Some said, well, and a promoter, they expect to go here if they have COVID marshals. Why don't they start a recruitment program for the public to volunteer, and they pay them whatever they pay them to be COVID marshals in the party? I don't understand. Up till now, one event no keep a Jamaica with no COVID marshal. So I don't know where Minister Grange did a talk about. And when she come and she run up fear more, and she ignore me. You can't ignore me some more, Minister, because guess what? None of them were in there. No, I've not know over me. Uno never give me a contract. Neither legal nor illegal. Uno never look out for me in nowhere. Me build myself for me own. With the help of RFM being on the ear, and me telling me God give me talent them to chat. And to think, and me have sense. And so me come to the wish part of it. So if the minister want to for your business, when they do good things, yes, me can talk to. Me not see what they do right now, which is good to talk about. And how long some of them have their position. How come them can't have position so long and when we have our work, if we not perform, we lose our work. I don't understand them people here. Yeah? I don't understand. I don't just take it. You don't know some people them dumb down by the food where they eat, the water where they drink. And the things they want to teach with a colonial education. From prep school to kindergarten to high school to college. The whole of it. Colonial education. Colonial education. And if they have, that's why they can't treat with better. Because they're going to learn how to suppress me and a black skin. They learn if any white man who left a book, them give them up at university. Be hungry with so. Like we're animal. They tell rich people, say so they can't go and go keep party for five days with capacity of 3,500. And regular people in our country, in our 14 parish, only 100, including them who are keeping the bartender, them and everybody. So, I see that insult to intelligence, man, they take with a big idiot. A idiot, they take with a final. A little bit of people there, Jamaica, we're not idiot then. Because if that was not the case, the Prime Minister couldn't so brave. Eh? All right, look what happened, um, uh, uh, what happened, Grenada. Some of the little Prime Minister in our head. Me know, say, oh, there's some people who don't want the worst standard. I know, but they said to bring no violence. But what I'm saying is, it's frustration that bring that. And you see now, they accuse somebody in Grenada of hitting the Prime Minister. And it's not that person show up on the video. Them arrest the woman and force her to confess. Like how the dirty police force the boy to apologize to the Prime Minister. Yeah. And it's not that person. So, so how that go now? They must go find that other person. Them need to, this person who them force if you say, and them lick the Prime Minister Grenada, if you sue them, we need a class action last week. Put a hype, every promoter, every stakeholder in the entertainment business, we need a class action last week against the government for a loss of income. Are you brave enough to do that? No, you no, don't brave enough because people them suffer. Where Christian them, they were supposed to attack up. 
No Christian no work a night. You don't have no security guard, Christian boy. Yeah. I all the people who love dance hall and party work a night. Want to nurse them. Eh? Want to doctor them. Me never know say all the party people work a night. Want to the engineer them. But when things broke down, what the, the maintenance people them when things broke down in a hotel? I don't have to go fix it in a night. What the bartender them there? Oh no, just quiet, so any prime minister, any folks can do what forever they feel like. Big up yourself, Kishima. What's up, mama? You know, see, put that not to recognize Kishima that the whole long year. <laughs> eh? Me say, add everybody who don't want to add today, add Kentucky. Add every voice which is for the people of Jamaica. We need a class action lawsuit against the government for a loss of income because they have allowed Mocha Fest and Dream Weekend and sans and i love soccer to keep events of capacity with thousands of people while enforcing a law which is called the disaster risk management act which prevents gathering hmm? so we are what? i don't be a doppie back there jamaica i want them know what that means not a doppie bad i hate when people insult me intelligence and take me for idiot I am not a dopey bat. I am not a bat of ears. I'm not a butu. I'm not a dunce. I'm not a fool. So I have to talk. I don't understand. Then prevent the people that I said this from earlier. I don't want anybody who feel like say, Oh, you know, so she has the people don't. Yes, some people don't. I want. I want. They don't. Bad very don'ts. You know why? Because that's how the system wants the majority of people to be. And so they create the perfect storm for that to happen. With lack of opportunity, lack of education, poverty, and a consistent dumbing down of the people by what they consume. We have a health ministry which has never suggested that we boost our immune system to fight the coronavirus. For me, that's a violation of human rights. Why do we have a health and wellness minister who doesn't speak of health or wellness? I don't understand. You run on your belly big same way. You're running and you're eating GMO food same way. Why don't you cooperate uh, or go and give instruction or whatever the hell you guys do to the manufacturing industry and say to them, look, we are an island filled with many, many varieties of food. Let us give our people the right nutrition. Let us manufacture our own things instead of constantly importing garbage. Canned food, I got sick on kill on Tap me, I'm can food people. Everything in a can dead. I bury you no know, figure bury can them and keep funeral. Stop from eat so much things when I pack. Pick sit now for one tree, go in a one bush, put on one water boat. Oh no, no, nah, go be healthy until you know do them things. They don't know how me feel when me eat beef and chicken. And I tell no lie, like, me feel bad. Yeah, every now and then me eat beef and chicken. And my daughter look like she banned to eat me. Like she love it. Me have to go. Gear meat therapy. I pray she in my belly. She have forced me to eat all that. Yeah, me not like. Nah, I not talk. Me not tell no lie. Eat some big fat ox tail America with me pregnant. And me not like meat. I be a green juice and they sit there. <laughs> I be here me not talk to me every day. You know. Mommy, you want to be vegan so bad. You hear me, Jesus Christ. Look up here, you prevent me. <laughs> And even though I know the whole world will not be vegan, I accept that. There is clean meat that you can eat at random. You shouldn't consume meat every day if you eat meat, all right? Slowly wean yourself off meat, people, if you're consuming meat, right? Eat fresh vegetables, greens, mix them together, blend them, extract them, steam them, eat them raw. These are the things we need. So if I'm doing 70% of that, or 80 and 20% of garbage, I'm still like doing way better than the majority of people. They convince the people that they can only afford garbage to eat. 
And so the people continue to eat the garbage, which makes their brain cells develop slowly when they're children and sometimes never completely develop. They give the people contraceptives and the contraceptives are making so many women unable to have children. This is proven over the years and yet they turn a blind eye and it continue. They give the people cigarettes, which are legal, right? All right, Futa, we know say no meat, no good brother, but remember say no. As me said, the whole world now go be vegan. So if you can tell a man to eat goat when you have grass, in better off, that for go in a store, go buy. Dog, kind of know where my buy. Not true. So when you live a country, you see when man slaughter a goat, and you see when the goat eat the grass when he might grow. So you know say the goat is a vegan. No. So me know say, I know everybody is going to be a vegan. So me still try to encourage people by saying these things. So then get a cigarette. You can okay buy a cigarette with it. Pack a tell you say it's going to kill you. It's going to rot your teeth. It's going to give you cancer. It's going to murder you. It box tell you, you know. But yet you can walk in one store and buy it. Then get your rum. We frig up your liver, your kidney. Everything about you because it makes you mental too. If you drink a lot of rum... You have some differences with your mentality, I can tell you that, especially if you've been doing it for years and years. See? The rum thing serious. We don't need more rum. So even though I'm a promoter, I'm not really a drinker. And if a person chooses to drink, I say do it in moderation. Because I know that not everybody's gonna stop drinking. Right? And if you drink, then you need to follow that with a lot of water. And detoxing and fasting. They're not teaching the people even that. Listen, when I grow my granny fast every week, you got to fast. When I wake up, I don't eat until long after. You have to fast. Give body a break, no? You just make your digestive system continue to work, work, work till it's tired. No, well, when your food for digestive you can't even digest, your body tired. You eat too much for your weight till you sleep. We don't need to understand them something, your people. Drinking liquor rum now and then is fine. We don't have no problem. Nutrition class. <laughs> um, my next business is that foot and nutrition business in the outside of the media. But when I see a small dog, because I'm talk tonight about the stupidity of repeatedly removing or adding an hour to the curfew and telling the people that it's going to curb corona in this so-called third wave. Mr. Prime Minister, it now makes no difference. I said it on the radio last week. Why isn't the government trying a daytime thing then? If you're going to curb time, let's try to do something in the day too. Because obviously, why are you doing like that? Because on a party, people are spread of COVID just like that. The little event them will keep with 100, 100 people more and how much COVID result they get from them. And two weeks time, one, how we'll, we'll much COVID result they're going to get for a dream. Speaking of COVID results, today I heard a doctor man on the radio tell a serious, wicked lie. The man alleged that his company, I'm not call their name, his company tested 500 people going into dream, and seven of them came out with positive results and they isolated them. They weren't allowed to go in the event. And the 493 went in. And the other patrons came with their COVID negative test or their vaccination proof. The doctor went on to say that there are reports in the media of videos showing crowds of people at Dream Weekend. This year, I want to listen to me, you know, people. I want this wickedness this year, you know. The doctor man said, he agrees with Dream, which we never come from the media to find out a Dream. I said, oh, them video they are not this year. Really? Really, Dream? We are idiot. Who are going to dig up Dream Weekend video for two years ago for post card Dream not keep last year? More than if we are idiot. Only can not the Dream people them to all then they are idiot a party of themselves right now. Then last hurrah. Nobody in the back on the phone the last hurrah. We just want a level playing field. So me ask the Dream people them if we are idiot. The video, them where people are circulate with Dexter the plan, the rest of people, them where they are dream this year. If you believe, say, two years ago, them the video come out. The doctor lie. 
wicked doctor that. Mr. Doctor man with your company with test people for COVID around Jamaica is a wicked liar. Yeah. Remember some me tell us so. Me listen to the doctor man for the way that this evening. And him say, him agree with dream that the video circulating are um from previous dream weekends because oh even though the capacity was 3,500, um, they didn't get the full amount. And he would say that this is probably not a very successful dream weekend. Doctor, we see the video them. We see the video them, doctor. You're too lying. It's a M -O -O name. Doctor, man, you no can't tag him. Doctor, you can't tell a lie on behalf of dream weekend. No, 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 I get spirit tonight. You can't tell a lie on behalf of Dream Weekend. So Dream Weekend was successful this year. And if video them a circulate now, after two years ago, because Dream not keep last year, so I assume say after two years ago, no, we could assume say three, four, five years ago, which he never got to call their phone and go through gallery. Search out gallery. I look for all Dream video. Doctor, we are not idiots. We more we have more sense than we think. We have more sense than we think. You you have the nerves just because you make your millions them are do COVID testing on a nigga for dream weekend people then. You get a cut out of the budget. You come and chat. But the video them where the people them are poor people who pay them good up money for God dream go enjoy themselves because they know safe place to lock down back. You yeah, tell we said them the video from two, three, four, five years ago. May I tell us that then, Doctor, you are some wicked people. Hmm? How are we supposed to believe? Say video. We are sure in a Jamaica now. And upon the internet, we dream weekend party people are reveling. They start up to freestyle and water park yesterday and being a man past it. Hey, Doctor, man, say, I know this year video them there. And they agree. So dream we can tell lie to on a lie and wicked. Tell them for me see some in a care who them because them never give me a free pass to come in at that event yet. Maybe my friend give me about another them. <laughs> Maybe my friend who work with them give me about another them and I don't care. Me pay my money God dream we can watch umpteen years in a row. So if me get free pass as media, so what? How well, can this doctor? And dream promoter expect we the people to believe. Say the video them what we see with Dexter Dabs good up, good up, body pants, tears down and Negrilla from before Dexter Dabs at. Doctor, we are not idiots. Dexter not at five years old yet. He might have seen me at five years, but he not at so long. And no dream not keep last year. I saw we could afford to believe that although people never believe all kind of stupidness. So I want to meet more people like me. You can't be my friend. <laughs> you can't meet me in person. I need to talk to some people with sense. Because she might have laughing. <laughs> no. I don't know I love humor already. I have to put like a human on my team. But I'm very, me very disgusted by what I see of one in a Jamaica. This double standard thing, especially with entertainment, it's like, it's that we're targeted. We're targeted now because it's the night industry, apparently, and Corona only spreads at night. I don't know. I don't know. What's the point of taking one hour here and putting it there or removing it next week or two weeks down the road? How is this helping to curb Corona? I, I don't get it. It's like them go some special stupid university to train people for stupid too. And when your brain can't go stupid, it's like it bother you like me, like me just want to judge you. Mm -mm. Can't believe it. Then they might add insult to injury. After we sit down here and watch and I say, God, no, it's a dream I keep there. And we're not upset, you know, we're not yet dreaming, you know. We want dream to make their money to cause a part of the industry, but dream on a line. You know? On a really good statement, we need to go on the page and see. 
on a really good statement answer the video them we are circulate with the big old crowd them and the grill when me get too much video power